There's an old saying in the piercing world, if there's a ridge, pierce it. What if there isn't a ridge? Well, that's where surface piercings come into play. I remember about 20-ish years ago, sitting around at work at the piercing studio with my friend Patrick, who's also a piercer, going through a Savage magazine and seeing our first surface piercing, a picture. Now, how did they do that? Next thing you know, we're bending jewelry trying to create our first surface bar. Placement for a normal piercing is gonna be through the ridge. Now a surface piercing, there is no ridge, so you gotta find your best to center and level as possible, which can be tricky. Now the placement for most surface piercings are gonna be like under the collarbone or clavicle, a cleavage piercing, maybe the nape of the neck, maybe even your hips. There's a lot of spots you can do this, but the one thing you wanna keep in mind is find a spot that doesn't have a lot of movement. Now the hips and collarbone area can have a lot of movement and you kinda of need to do some range of motion tests to see if that movement will allow your piercing to heal. Now to get this piercing to heal, you will be needing to use a surface bar. Now a surface bar looks like this. A lot of piercers will try to use the curved barbell, but it's not the same and it won't work. The reason being is you want to go perpendicular to the tissue. When you're using a curved barbell, it goes at really weird angles and it doesn't seem to hold it in as secure. Now also keep in mind when you're wearing the surface bar, you're going to pick a flat top, a flat disc. You don't actually want to have a ball or any sort of prong setting on there because it's going to allow the jewelry to kind of flop around and move back and forth. That flat surface disc sits on top of the skin like this and it's gonna hold it steady and secure and allow it to heal much, much better. This piercing does take a while to heal. I generally tell people expect a minimum of six months, maybe even up to a year. This piercing goes through more tissue than normal, but at the same time, it's not gonna be a lot more painful. It's more psychological than anything. Now, as far as the most common problems people have, it's gonna be catching them on things. If you have a clavicle or under the collarbone piercing, seat belts, bra straps, even a purse or bag might cause irritation. Now, the back of the neck, when I had my nape pierced, hugs were a big problem because people always put their arms on there and they're constantly hitting this. These are things you need to think about and be aware of. And piercings on the lower torso, like the hips, lower navel, even the pubic area, can be irritated by pants. Now, I know a lot of high-rise pants are coming back in style, and if you have those piercings, they don't allow the piercings to heal very well. This also includes navels. Those are the most common problems people have. The only other thing I would say is clean under the discs. The discs are gonna build up crusties and it's gonna push out on your piercing, causing a little irritation. So when you clean your piercing, make sure to get all the crusties underneath them. Just because you can't see them doesn't mean they're not there. Surface piercings, do you think it hurts? Let's check it out. Middle of the road again. I love this painometer because it tells us right what we need to know. Now, this piercing isn't very painful. It's more pressure. And of course, it's always more scary in our head than actually in our skin. Like a lot of the piercings, I love surface piercings. You can get creative, you can create shapes, you can change out the different tops with different gems. You can go big gems, small gems, lots and lots of options. Now, the one thing I do wanna tell you about is the little tape test. One of the problems people have is they get piercings in spots where there's more irritation, like more movement. Now, the tape test I'm talking about is a piece of scotch tape, masking tape, any sort of tape. Cut it to the length you want your piercing to be. For instance, if you're gonna be this far apart on your chest, put that piece of tape on there on your bare skin and start moving your arm around, tilt your head back, try to stretch that skin out. Now, if the tape pulls, the surface piercing will not work in that area. You need to find an area where you can do all that range of motion and the tape stays put. Then you have a really good chance of healing this piercing up. Now, it's a great piercing. It's not something you should ever really change in and out on your own. Go to a piercer for this. But if you're looking for something unique in that unique spot, this might be right up your alley. Now, if you have any other questions, if you have any comments, leave them down below. And of course, give me a like, subscribe, 
hit the bell, and of course, keep putting holes in your body. We'll see y'all on the next video.